Let's balance the equation for the combustion of sucrose, that's C12, H22, O11, plus O2. Sucrose is table sugar. So this is a combustion reaction because we have this hydrocarbon here, carbons and hydrogens, there's an oxygen in there too. And then we have it combining with oxygen gas, O2, to form carbon dioxide and water. So this is called organic combustion. Let's balance the equation. So I've counted the atoms up. You have to be careful here because we have oxygens here and here. So that's why we have a total of 13 in the reactants. In the products, we have two oxygens here and one here. So two plus one, that gives us three. So you have to count the oxygen atoms up correctly in these combustion reactions. We'll leave O2 for last when we balance because when we change the coefficient here on O2, it won't change the number of carbons or hydrogens, just the number of oxygens. So leave O2 for last when you balance combustion reactions. Let's start with carbon. We put a 12 in front of the CO2. 1 times 12, and that gives us 12. Carbons are balanced, but this 12 goes to everything here. So we need to update the oxygens. 12 times 2, that's 24. Plus, we have the one here, so we have 25 oxygen atoms. Let's just update the hydrogens. We could put an 11 here, 2 times 11. That gives us 22, but now we have to update the oxygens again. 12 plus 2, that's 24, plus 11 times the 1. That gives us a total of 35 oxygen atoms. Okay, so this seems to be a little bit of a problem. So here's the way to think about it. 11 plus some number, that's going to equal 35. So 11 plus 24, that's 35. So if we put a 12 in front of the O2, 2 times 12, that's 24. So we have 11 plus 2 times 12, the 24, that gives us 35, and we're done. This equation is balanced. So kind of a tricky equation to balance, but it's helpful to think 11 plus some number would give us the 35 to balance these. Because with the oxygen, then we can change that and it won't change the carbons or hydrogens. If you wanted to know the states, they'd look like this. Sucrose, table sugar, that's a solid. Oxygen gas, carbon dioxide gas. And because this is a combustion reaction, it's gonna be exothermic. It's gonna be hot, so the water, that'll be a gas, at least initially. This is Dr. B with the combustion of sucrose. C12H22O11 plus O2. Thanks for watching.